There are three areas of information technology that are just scorching hot right now. Those three areas are DevOps, security, and cloud. Sure, there's plenty of jobs in other disciplines, but those three areas right now are in incredible demand. Maybe you are excited to begin a career in cloud and you're wondering where to start. Well, a great starting point is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification. Let's take a moment here and let's just examine, let's take a bird's eye view of the AWS certifications that are out there for us. And when we look at this, you're going to see that it all really does start at this important AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner level. Notice this is the foundational AWS certification that is going to build you a nice strong foundation so that you can succeed if you would like to be an AWS Certified Architect, an AWS Certified SysOps person, or an AWS Certified Developer person. Notice if you're interested in a special, like, you know, specialization, how's that for uh, vocabulary? Special specialization, good job, Anthony. But if you're interested in really getting laser focused in some advanced topic, they also have certifications that map to those. And they're constantly adding to this list. For example, for the longest time, we just had advanced networking and security, but now you notice they've added things like machine learning and data analytics. So very, very exciting. So if you are thinking about getting your start in AWS certification, the cloud practitioner is the natural starting point. And if you come up here to get more information about the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, one of the things that you're going to discover is that there is given to us right here an exam guide. And this is critically important because what this exam guide is going to contain, and I would say this is by far the most important component in this guide, it's exactly what you're going to be facing in this exam. It is a multiple choice test. There's about, oh, 50 to 60 multiple choice questions that you're gonna be dealing with. And you can see that the majority of them is, surprise, surprise, going to be about technology. So the technology itself that makes up AWS, things like, what are the key services for storage? And what are the key services for compute? And what are the key services for databases in the cloud? And what are the key services for managing your cloud? And how about the network infrastructure? So there's lots that the AWS cloud offers us. And when it comes to that strict technology, that's gonna be, no surprise, the main focus of this exam. And as you might guess, this exam doesn't go deep into each of those technologies. The focus is more like if you needed a virtual machine in the AWS cloud, what service would you use? And if you wanted a NoSQL database in the cloud, what service would you use? And things of that nature. Notice though, the rest of the exam is also important. There's cloud concepts. So this is a great way if you really are unfamiliar with cloud in general for you to get that familiarity. And then there's security and compliance and billing and pricing. One of the myths with AWS is that you're gonna immediately start saving all this money. I mean, that might be the case, but it's often the case that in order to really save a lot of money by moving services to AWS, you really need to know what you're doing when it comes to architecting those services and setting them up so that they are cost efficient. We just don't get cost efficiency automatically. Now, something else they make available for us that you're gonna be very excited about, and again, these resources are located on the main AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner page, but another great resource I wanted to point out to you were these official practice questions. So these are sample exam questions, and this will be fun, let me try one. 
Which AWS offering enables users to find, buy, and immediately start using software solutions in their AWS environment? Oh my gosh, that is so easy. That is the AWS marketplace. Yeah, and that was so easy for me because yes, I took the official IT Pro TV AWS Cloud Practitioner training course, and I'll show you that in a second. I did take that course with Justin Dennison, so this question was super easy for me. And let's see, uh, was I correct? Yay, I was correct. It's pretty funny that the answers with explanations are here. Why I find that funny is that when Amazon first started giving us these practice questions for all their exams, for some reason, they decided not to give us the answers initially. And this was the strangest decision. There were no answers and there was nowhere you could find the answers. So there was all this amazing debate online you would find in forums about which answer is correct. So strange, but anyways, they sobered up and now they are giving us the answers and the explanations for those various sample questions that they give us. So very powerful, right? This homepage, if you will, for the examination that's going to be able to give us the uh, information about what's on that test and even the information about some practice questions. What's the cost of the exam? Well, as you see, the cost is that 100 US dollars. They do sell a $20 practice exam. It's 90 minutes. And as I said, it's multiple choice. Notice they list multiple answer here as well. What is that about? Well, that's just the uh, like choose two, choose three, choose four, choose all that apply. So there will be questions that have multiple correct answers. So are there any prerequisites for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification? Well, the great answer there is no. There are no formal prerequisites, but let's face it, you would wanna be like A plus certified or the equivalent knowledge. So, you know, you wouldn't want to jump right into the cloud practitioner and you don't understand like basic networking, basic compute. You wouldn't want to be in that situation. So let's make sure we're A plus or equivalent type knowledge. Now, I mentioned to you that there is training for this at IT Pro TV and I didn't lie. So if we go over to the IT Pro TV website and we do AWS Cloud, for instance, we're going to be prompted to do a search on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. And there is our course in all of its glory. And you can see that Justin is doing due diligence to every single one of those exam objectives that we saw AWS was queuing us up for. So this is a very exciting certification indeed. They didn't always have this certification, by the way. So for years, AWS gave us those specialized tracks like the uh, Solutions Architect and the DevOps and the SysOps. They had always given us those. And then they realized, my goodness, we really need to give like a foundational what the heck is AWS style certification and that's what they've done with this cloud practitioner and I'm super excited that you're interested in it because I highly recommend it for any IT professional. Well, on behalf of the entire team here at IT Pro TV, I just want to thank you so much for watching this YouTube episode in Getting Started. Remember, be sure to subscribe to this channel and maybe even click that bell so you get notifications as we are producing more content for you every day that's gonna assist you in your IT career and your certification pursuits. Thanks so much for watching.